Welcome to the Militia Gaming Community, I'm Trigger, and this is my summit guide for the Mirage Summit in the Crew 2. Let's go! Alright guys, my goal with these summit guides is to prepare you to earn platinum rewards every single week. And that's why I put out this video before the summit goes live. I purchase all the cars and run all of the events beforehand so you don't have to. I'm not claiming to be the best, but my advice is very good for the average player. All right, let's get into it. Starting off with the Las Vegas Speed Trap. This one is a great opportunity for you to learn manual shifting as the run up for this speed trap is completely straight. I recommend switching to manual shifting because the shifts are cleaner and the acceleration is faster. In addition to that, I would recommend getting a friend to help you slipstream. It will make a huge difference in your score and your speed. The recommended set bonus is Nitro Chemist and the affixes are pure and extra pump. I'm using the Corvette Stingray and my pro settings are like this. Next up is the Las Vegas Aerobatic Skill. For this skill, I recommend using an air race plane instead of an aerobatics plane as they are much faster and will result in more score. To get the maximum score, you will need a full set of score breaker parts and the affix stat called Skilled, which can max out at a 10% points bonus per part. That's 70 extra percent that you can be scoring on this event. I do not own these parts myself yet, but if I did, my score on this run would have been double what I'm showing you right here, and thus that would put me near the top of the leaderboard. Your skill flying an airplane will be the biggest issue for you because there are so many challenging gates, but with some practice you can get it down and get a nice score. I'm using the 330SC air race plane and my pro settings are default. Next up is the Colorado Riverbanks low altitude. I will again be using my 330SC air race plane. For this low altitude, I recommend flying inverted, meaning upside down. This one is pretty open compared to others, and flying inverted will yield greater results even if you are only taking advantage of the extra multiplier half the time. This run wasn't perfect, but it's definitely good enough for a decent score in the summit. If you have a set of score breaker parts, remember to put those on, and if you have any parts with the skilled affix stat, those are also recommended. If I had those parts, my score would have been in the 40,000s, which is actually a very good score for this event. Again, my 330SC Pro settings are default. Next up is the Strip South Street Race using the Corvette C8 Stingray. This event has a bunch of small cuts that you should definitely take notice of. I will let my first lap play for you guys so you can see the routes I take. After that, just repeat that lap for lap number two. Also note that Nitrochemist is definitely recommended as well as pure and extra pump affix stats. My C8 Pro settings are like this. Up next is Luttrell's car part one, using the hypercar of your choice. I'm going to be using the Bugatti Devo, and there are a lot of little shortcuts on this race, and I've written them all down in the description so you can copy and paste them for your reference later, or you can just back up the video and replay it as many times as you want. At zero or 1%, you need to stay right along this wall to cut this corner. At 9%, you can take the first off ramp on the left for the freeway. This definitely cuts off a lot of time as you don't have to go up that hill and then make that same type of hard cut. This gets you on the freeway right away. At 24%, you can cut these two corners. This one's a little tricky because the trees, but do your best to avoid them and it will save you a lot of time. At 27%, cut right up the hill to avoid most of these windy roads. This cut is fairly long, so just follow the path that I'm showing you here.
At 40%, you need to cut left and make your way down the hill. Now, there is no exact science to this cut. Just try your best to avoid all of the trees and just make your way down the hill like I'm showing you here. At 55%, you're gonna cut right of the barrier and then make your way down the hill again towards the next checkpoint. Again, try your best to miss the trees. At 68%, you're gonna cut left of the barrier to meet up with the highway. The next checkpoint will be on the highway, so it'll be easy if you just get there sooner than taking this windy road and meeting up with it later. And finally, at 83%, you're not gonna take that right turn. Instead, go left and make the right at this very next junction. It's almost more than a right, it's kind of like a U-turn. But then you'll just follow that back around to meet up with the main highway road. This cuts out a lot of the crazy turns that are on this highway section. My Devo Pro settings are like this. Up next is the Strip North Street Race using the Gallardo. There are several little cuts in this race, so again, I'm just gonna show you a full lap so that you can see my path. I was fast enough to make it to ninth overall on this race, and I'm sure that that'll be good enough for the summit. I think it goes without saying, but you should definitely have a Nitro Chemist set with pure and extra pump as your affix. My Gallardo Pro settings are like this. Next up is the Going to Vegas hypercar race using the Alpha Mark X. This is a crossover event, so you'll be forced to use the Alpha GP car on this hypercar race. There are two cuts that I strongly recommend. At 26%, you can cut right across the dirt. And at 54%, you can cut left of the trees on this corner to maintain your speed through the rest of those corners. If you have Nitro Chemist with pure and extra pump, that will be a tremendous help. I know that's kind of obvious, like I said before, but I wanted to mention it for those who weren't thinking about it. After that, it's up to you and your driving skills. My Alpha Mark X Pro settings are like this. Next up is the Colorado Riverbanks motocross event. For this event, I recommend using the Yamaha YZ450F. It's the fastest dirt bike in the game, and even though mine is far from leveled up, I managed to get a top 100 time. This thing absolutely flies. The motocross mechanic that you're gonna need to know about is the in-air NOS. The bikes accelerate greatly when you use NOS in the air, so do that as much as you can but try to avoid hitting yourself on the checkpoints. Other than that, just pay attention to my lap and just rinse and repeat the process. My pro settings for the Yamaha are default. And the last event is the Las Vegas Waterway Jet Sprint. The top times on this race were made using the Proto Hornet. However, for my personal testing, the Proto Leopard was around three seconds faster for me personally. You are welcome to use the Hornet, but I was faster with that Leopard, so that's what I'm going with. All right, so there are really only a couple of keys to this race. 
The first is to make sure you stay off of the wooden ramps that are on the course. They slow you down and prevent you from steering. Next is that you want to make sure you hit the jumps at the correct angle. Take notice of that on this lap that I run. And lastly, for me personally, I find that I have way more control when I switch to hood view for this discipline, meaning for all jet sprint events. I would recommend trying it, and if it's too hard to get used to, just switch back. But for me personally, I'm much faster in hood view. And that's it. My pro settings for the Proto Leopard are like this. Before I go, I just want to mention that I stream my full summit runs on Tuesday nights at 9 p.m. Pacific time right here on the YouTube channel. If you want to come hang out with me and watch my full runs, you are more than welcome to do so. I invite everyone to come out and watch the full summit. And that's it for this one, guys. If you have any questions, don't forget you can hit me up on IG, Twitter, or Discord. I have a link to all of that stuff in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching. Shout out to all the Militia subs. I will catch you on the next one. Trigger out.